Hello everybody, it's Isaac here from Prism and I am at Insomnia with Ken Burton from YouTube and Machinima. Machinima, yeah, Machinima. Hi, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, not too bad actually. It's been a few, it's been a corking couple of days, but uh, it's starting to wear on me now. The bags on the eyes are just starting to drop, but you know, and I've got another day of it yet. So it's been hectic. So much to cover here. It's, it's it's just incredible. You know, there's so much to see. I mean, you see behind us. You know, all these guys. There's a thousand guys behind us with PCs, some great kit. You know. And they're all here under this common umbrella of gaming, which is it's just a fantastic thing to see, you know. It's not something you see every day, lands of this scale. So it's quite an amazing thing to be at. Yeah, I'm quite, uh, I was really shocked at the guys that were running around with the cables because I thought, no way, how do you do something like that? I mean, how, how do you do something like that? You know, even with uh, a Virgin Media connection, you know, but hey, it's happening. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, first of all, I want to ask you a bit about YouTube. So, right. uh, you've been on YouTube for quite a while. Um, <laughs> yeah. when, when did you first start? Oh God, 2009. I was a senior projects manager at Peugeot, and uh, we finished a major project, and I was burnt. I was gone. And they said, here, here's a pot of money, go and take a sabbatical. So I thought, well, that's a good idea for me to now kind of touch base my son again, because I've been ignoring him for years, been working too hard. So I was pretty good at COD, and Modern Warfare 2 came out, and I was shit. And I was like, well, how does this work? So I went into my son and said, why am I crap at this? And he said, Dad, stick it on YouTube, I ain't telling you. So I took it on YouTube and uh, I got a phone call about two, well it went, went viral, then I got a phone call about two days later from Machinima saying, uh, uh, do you want to come and make some videos for us? That's how it all started, 2009. I was around about a month before Respawn was born. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. It is crazy, yeah. I mean, it, it just seems like I've done this forever. But uh, I've come into this <laughs> at my age, which is... Uh, it's a little bit of a feat, you know, and I'm, I'm not... It's basically 18-year-olds and stuff, really. It is basically 18-year-olds. A lot of people that hate me, which is fine. I don't mind that. If they're hating me, they're not hating someone else, is, yeah. is the motto. But, uh, yeah, it's been a good ride. And I get to travel, get to come to things like this. New Horizons, which is great. So, it was about a year or so ago you started your vlog channel, Ken. Um, what made you want to start doing vlogs and talking about, like, current affairs? Well, uh, the thing is... Um, I'm of an age where I think I've got a lot of wisdom to impart and uh, as a lot of young kids follow me, uh, I don't kind of, I tend not to talk at younger people, I talk with them and you know it's a major difference. Uh, if I've got a message, if I've got something I want to say, you know, how do you handle the cops when they bust you for speeding? You know, what do you do? What do you say? What's the best thing to do? And there, there are good ways and bad ways of dealing with situations like that. And I'll talk about that shit, you know. And I'll, I'll let people know, you know, if a cop busts you, this is what you have to do. If you're getting chased and there's a dog, fucking stop. <laughs> you know, it's these sort of things. And then I uh, uh, did the podcast stories and started putting those on, just talking about uh, life in Coventry when I was a lad. And, um, you know, I enjoy the podcast, really. That, it's very personal to me, as opposed to YouTube, which is for everyone, really. The podcast are one of my favourite things you do. Uh, I love them. They're really interesting. So. It's, it's, been a, it's been a hell of a ride doing the podcasts. Um, um, where they started, and in fact, uh, Pete, I know a lot of people just say they're all bullshit. They're all made up. But I've been contacted now maybe five or six times from people from my past I haven't seen in 30 years saying, what the f*** have you put me on a podcast for? So <laughs> it's really funny, you know. I say, well, you know, you shouldn't have bent over and let the dog bite you in the ass, you know. It's that sort of stuff. So, you know, it's good fun. Okay, now we want to move on to talk a bit more about technology that you use to do your job. Yep. So um, with creating YouTube, there's a lot of tech that you'll be able to use to push your content out there. Yep. So what piece of tech is like most important to you and your channel? Microphone. Without a doubt, the microphone. I've got uh, maybe 10 microphones yeah. and I started off buying cheap nasty ones and thought, oh yeah, they'll do. And I moved on to the Blue Yeti and everyone was like, oh yeah, that'll do, that's fine, that's fine. No, it ain't. Yeah. No, it ain't. You've really got to use some absolutely top clever kit like this. Um, which, you know, even now, I mean, I've got some Samsung microphones and they're about the best uh, I've used. Probably my main mic um, is 
Uh, I've forgotten the name of it. Hold on, you're going to have to cut that. It's the name of my name, Mike. Do you know what make it's from? Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, how should we go? I'll take it from there. My main mic at the, main mic at the moment is uh, an editor keys mic, which I've got on a boom arm, and uh, it's the SL300, I think. You've got noise cancellation on it, which is great, especially in a small room, because you know, you've got your PC wearing away, you might have a fan in the room, and this thing just cancels the noise out. It's really, really good. So I love that one, and it's cheap. It's not an expensive mic. Um, if I was doing outside broadcast, I'd be using uh, your... Sh I can never pronounce these. Are they Schneider, what are they? Uh, Sennheiser. I think. Sennheiser. Christ. <laughs> you notice I haven't used the term MLG yet since I got here. I'm, I'm trying not to. Every interview I've done so far, I've used the term MLG. Don't use MLG I I series, but Right, so yeah, that's probably about the best kit. Getting your voice over smoothly, getting it across properly, yeah. making sure people can hear absolutely every word um, is absolutely key. And the rest of it is, you know, whether or not you're using Premiere Pro, or, you know, Vegas, it's about time, patience, and attention to detail. That's what it's so about. Would you say that your biggest tip then is to get a decent mic if you're going to be starting into YouTube? Oh, get, yeah, get a yeah. Mic to start out with. Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, I, I because Machinima UK, um, we do an awful lot of commission work. If you want to do work for Machinima UK, then you'll send us uh, a pilot video and say, here's my pilot, what do you think about that? Give me a 10 series. And I tell you, the amount of, you know, I told you guys or it's like the game sounds too loud and people just haven't been bothered. And you just sit back and you think, why? Why haven't you been bothered? This is absolutely mad. But, you know, it annoys the crap out of me. And sometimes I go back to somebody and say, look, I think you're pretty good, but your techniques are crap. You need some training. And that it's not as if there aren't a thousand tutorials on everything out there on YouTube. Literally everything's on YouTube now. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. So, you know, why not? But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you've got to have a good mic. You've got to have something slightly different as well. Just, just very slightly different to what everyone else has got. Give you an edge, give you something to stand so out. Generally, like, personality works best. Get your personality in there. Personality sometimes. Uh, a lot of people try it uh, and they, they think if they troll, then they'll be famous because they can make great trolling videos. Oh, I can tell this guy to fuck off. And, uh, you know, and maybe they can, but it doesn't work for me. I don't like trolling videos. Trolling videos have a shelf life of that. And, uh, you know, I'm much more... I'm much more into uh, the gameplay videos, the funny aspects, the you know, the interesting, the different, all of these sort of things. Okay, so let's move on to talk about games. Lots of new games are coming out with the next-gen consoles on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Which are you most looking forward to? Oh no, I don't play games. No, I'm joking. I'm just, no, um, I think without a doubt it's got to be Daisy. Massively into Daisy. And it is probably the best game, only because I think I, I get annoyed with other people. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I get annoyed with other people in game. So, Daisy, you can just go out on your own for three hours and go and shoot a bear <laughs> or a pig. Let's go find a pig and, you know, do that sort of stuff. Um, the last big game that I played that I, what I thought was the dog's what's it was Far Cry 3. I think that was an ultimately fantastic game. Everybody's been telling me to get into Battlefield because I've become a PC gamer now as opposed to a console gamer. So everyone's telling me to get into Battlefield. Right, okay, so I bought it. I haven't had time to play with it yet. I didn't like it the first time when I got it on the PS3. So let's, but let's give it a go, you know, let's see where we go with it. Um, we've got COD come in. Not really sure how that's going to look, really, but I haven't had first looks at it. What I'm really hoping is it's just not another COD, but based in a different area, you know, or slightly different time zone than it was before. I still think War of Worlds, War of Worlds was the best uh, COD I ever played, but, you know, I'm an old fart, so. Yeah, All right, that sort of leads on to the next question. Um, kind of about the console games, uh, the actual console platforms yep. that are coming out. 
Xbox One or PlayStation 4? I mean, we know you're a PC guy now, but if yep. you had to choose one of them, which would you go with? Well, I, I'm going to get them anyway, uh, because I have to. Uh, if a game comes out as an exclusive and I've got to cover it, I've at least got to know what the game's about. So um, I've got to buy every console, every game for every console. Right? I have to. Uh, but I'm not going to get an Xbox One. Not this time round. I'm just not. I just don't. I mean, for me, it, the press conference was one thing, but the functionality of the PS4 versus the Xbox One, I'm, you know, we've got a great, great series on Machinima UK at the moment called Next Gen Console Wars. And there's a guy called Dave the Rave covering it, and he knows everything there is to know about this. And I, I've said to him, Dave, if you get to a point where you think there are any pluses to getting an Xbox, let me know. He hasn't called me yet. Okay, so that's it with our interview today. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. It's you been are a pleasure. More than welcome. So um, where's this going up? Where's your channel? Uh, this will be going up on our YouTube channel, Prism Media TV. Um, Prism Media TV. So yeah. <laughs> Prism Media TV. There you go. <laughs> all right, thank you, You're and welcome. we'll see you all next time. Bye. Stay on the dark side.